Welcome to Paradox Home Chemistry. In this video, I'll show you how to make anhydrous copper sulfate by heating copper sulfate pentahydrate. Before we begin the experiment, let's go over some safety. This experiment involves very high temperatures, where heat-resistant gloves were necessary. Copper sulfate is moderately toxic, so wear proper safety gear to avoid exposure. And, as usual, work in a well-ventilated area. Alright then, let's get started. Obtain 15 grams of copper sulfate pentahydrate. This is sold as root killer. It is recognizable by its blue crystals. Let's set up our apparatus. First, grab a sturdy stand. Then, attach a ring to the stand. Next, place a clay triangle on top of the ring. And finally, place the crucible of copper sulfate on the clay triangle. Grab a heating gun and turn it on to high heat. Heat the bottom of the crucible evenly. A blowtorch or an alcohol lamp will also work if you don't have a heating gun. Halfway through heating, I transfer the contents of the crucible to a mortar and pestle, crushed it, returned it to the crucible, and continued to heat. Crushing the copper sulfate increases its surface area and ensures that all of it is converted to the anhydrous form. Here we are towards the end of heating. You can see that the contents are almost white. When the copper sulfate is fully white, you are done heating. This copper sulfate is now suitable for use as a desiccant. For example, it can be used to dry solvents. So here it is, 10.46 grams of anhydrous copper sulfate. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Paradox Home Chemistry.